All right, this is Bioshock Infinite. Uh, Barry, let's see they episode told two. Me, son, you were born to do great things. They were right. Final Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. You think that's a child down there? She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. It's Ryan! Goddamn Andrew Ryan! Head to medical! Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. I don't think that happened on episode one. I'm almost a hundred percent positive that's not what happened at the end of episode one. If I'm not mistaken, our dear protagonist friend got stabbed in the chest with a big daddy drill. Very similar to the trailer at E3 they showed for the original Bioshock, but I'm digressing. Sally! Sally, come out! She wasn't yours, Comstock. Elizabeth, I am so sorry. No, you're not. But you're about to be. We do play as Elizabeth this episode, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, look at this, we're in Colombia. A croissant. I don't know why I rolled yes. the R's there. Quel est votre nom? Elizabeth. Pour vous, Elizabeth. Oh, no. No, I, I, I couldn't. I, I can't accept. Je vous en prie. J'insiste. Oh, thank you. Bonjour, Monsieur Surat. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Elisabeth. Je manque d'inspiration aujourd'hui. Uh -huh. Bonjour, Elisabeth. Bien le bonjour. I do not. Oh no, we're in Paris. This looks like Colombia. Alors, tu as parlé not. à la jolie petite américaine? Oh. Bonjour, Mademoiselle. Bonne journée. Comment ça va, Elisabeth? If somewhere over the rainbow plays, I'm going to blow my brains out. Bonjour. Do you all know Elizabeth? Et si tu venais boire un verre avec nous? Claude? Sois pas jalouse, ma petite. Viens jouer avec nous, Elizabeth. I'm sorry, Cassette. Next time, I promise. Bien le bonjour, mademoiselle. Bien le bonjour, Elizabeth. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour. I've been greeted more times in the span of one minute than I have in my entire life as an actual person. I have no idea if we're going in the correct direction. Oh, sweet merciful, do you just kill me? Well, we've gone full Disney. We have gone full Disney. Sweet Butterfield Jesus. Yes. A lot of birds here. Hello, little sister. Sally? Sally! 
No! Jason! Jason! Sorry, I'm having flashbacks. Sally, wait! Oh great, now we're getting sucked in the Oz. Can it not be the Oz, the great and powerful Oz? That was kind of lackluster. Sally, stop! Come back! <laughs> Sally, where are you going? Come back! Sally, hold on! Come back! Come back! Ooh, stop, has a stop. vaguely... Silhou vague silhouette of a songbird. Where did she go? Oh, Jesus! It wasn't my fault. I didn't do anything. No, no, no. It wasn't my fault. Leave me alone! Can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry! I'm sorry. And that's the end. I never should have left. I never should have left you there. I have no idea what's going on. What's the holdup? Just having a bit of a laugh, Atlas. This ain't a sporting event. Put a bullet in her. No need to torture the poor girl. We're not animals, you know. All right, all right. Let her go! Quiet down, dear. In a minute, all your problems will be over. Elizabeth, tell him you can get him back. Booker? I can get you. How? Say I can get you back to Rapture. What? Just say it. I can get you back to Rapture. Put the gun down. Now. What was that you said about Rapture? I can get you back to Rapture. And how you plan on doing that, sister? You some kind of magician? Su Chong. What? Tell him Su Chong. Su Chong. And how do you know that slant, I'd wonder? You're his lab assistant. I'm his lab assistant. If it escaped your notice, Andrew Ryan sunk us 5,000 fathoms below his shining city. How does Su Chong propose to get us back? That's between me. That's between me. And the slant. And the slant. But if I do this, the girl goes with me. Little sisters are worth their weight in gold. She's not up for negotiation. Last time I checked, Back in the city, they were making little sisters by the dozen. That's a right fairy tale you've dreamed up, sister. But if you're lying, we can just as well kill you tomorrow. Down here, we got nothing but time. In case I need to get hold of you. If you see Su Chong, tell him. Atlas says he hasn't forgotten him. I don't know how that helps you in your endeavors to knock her out, but way to, way to go. You punched a, punched a defenseless girl in the face. Come on, it's time to get moving. Booker? What? Over here, on the radio. You're not Booker. Well, of course I ain't. <sighs> what have I gotten myself into? I didn't orphan that girl. I didn't kidnap her. She made for some exceptional bait, didn't she? Had to be done. Did it? I felt everything that every version of me felt. All of that knowledge. I lost a pinky, but that version of me, she lost everything. In Comstock. That final Comstock, he thought he could avoid his guilt by coming here. You educated him proper. Then why am I back here? 
Huh? I don't remember opening a tear to come back. And who are you? Huh? I think you'll figure that out soon enough. You I are Frank so Fontaine. I was happy. And now I'm here dealing with this Atlas, this, this psychopath. What was I thinking? That wasn't Paris any more than I am Booker. Now I have to find this, this Su Chong, and I don't even know who that is. Not yet, but you know he's the key, don't you? To what? You're asking me. Elizabeth, I ain't even here. <laughs> he brings up a valid, valid point. What are you? Huh? And how did you know exactly what to tell Atlas? Let me ask you a question. You feel like yourself, Elizabeth? I feel... I feel strange and smaller. I, I can't see the doors. What's behind the doors? I, I can't see the future. I can't even see any tears. Stay away from me. Booker. No. No. No, please. Please don't. I died here. I was killed by that. Stay away from me! But then, how am I here? How can I be dead in this world and yet... My finger. What am I? I don't understand. I, I. If we're going to end up in the same place, it needs to calm and enter your mind. Are you being cute? I've come round to your way of thinking. Have you? Yes. I do believe one can change things, but after all the bother, one often wishes that one had not. You're a fatalist. A physicist. A fatalist. So was Newton, especially when it came to apples falling from trees. They always contrived to land with a splat. She left the child to rot. Are you implying she's the apple? I'm implying that she did not fall far from the tree. And now she wants to go back. I need to go back. To fix what I broke. Back to where she has no right to be. Back to where she doesn't belong. Doesn't belong? Wait, what do you mean? Do you want to tell her brother, or shall I? Because I died. There are rules. Even for one such as you. She'll forget. All the doors. And what's behind all the doors. All closed to her now. She'll be just like the rest of us. Forgetting the past. The present. The future. I'd wager she won't even remember this conversation. We've arrived. You're trading omniscience and croissants for death and mildew. I left Sally to rot. For what? So I could punish Comstock? He was trying to help her, to save her, and I... If I don't make that right... We all have our crosses to bear. But there is a thin line between a martyr and a fool. 